Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've actually got a fairly interesting announcement from Gaichin because for once, Gaichin has actually added a very interesting vehicle to Battle Pass. Uh, this upcoming season of Battle Pass will see the Brom in Vos or BV-155. This is a high altitude interceptor that will have two 20 millimeter cannons and a single 30 millimeter cannon as well so this will be a very very powerful armament and will be a very interesting aircraft as well so if you see on the outside of the plane on the wings there are these very large attachments those are actually radiators for the aircraft very large radiators that were designed to help this fly at high altitudes this has huge wings again to help it fly at high altitudes low altitudes it will not be all that great but at high altitudes, this promises to be a very, very effective plane. And ultimately, this might be a very powerful plane for a beginning of match to destroy enemy bombers, whereas some other planes, especially being that this will be a rank three plane, will typically not be able to get up to higher altitudes that bombers spawn at. This might be able to do the trick and uh, do quite well. So you might see the skies being wiped of enemy bombers by the brand new Blowing Vos 155. Now, historically speaking, this was actually designed to destroy B-29s because back in the day, German intelligence had actually gained intelligence that B-29s were being developed. And Germany, fearful that the B-29 would be used against them, had started work on a plane that was designed to reach altitudes that they thought that the B-29 would be flying at. And as such, even though this was a propeller plane and they were starting to develop new jets, this was designed to be able to fly at heinous altitudes of something like 55,000 feet. And that was give or take around its service sailing. But still, that gives you an idea of how high this bird could fly. So it could dominate at very high altitudes. And really, from what it seems, in-game should be probably best at around 10,000 meters. Now, whether or not this will be an effective plane because so much fighting kind of occurs on the deck or give or take at around one to 3,000 meters in game, even at rank three, I'm not really entirely sure. But this might be a very nasty boom and zoom aircraft because it has a very good armament and it also can be able to get up to a high altitude which makes that boom and zoom even heavier and like i said you should be able to expect this to come out with the next battle pass season hopefully in about one week that being said this will not be the top reward thankfully but should still be a somewhat higher br reward i would not be surprised if this would be a 4.3 or even a 4.7 br vehicle just because it is so damn interesting i mean much credit to Gaijin for including this in the game, even if this is a user model and they didn't really have to do a ton of work to put it in the game, it is still a really, really, really cool thing. And I am beyond impressed that uh, that this is coming to War Thunder. So bravo to Gaijin for actually taking an interesting vehicle and making it a reward. I wish that this was a regular tech tree vehicle or a premium vehicle rather than some vehicle that's essentially on a time limit being that you only have x amount of time to get battle pass vehicles but it is still really cool that it's coming to game so bravo gaijin regardless of the implementation that being said of course please like comment subscribe if you guys want i do have a giveaway on my other video where basically you have to go to that video like the video subscribe to my channel comment on the video and uh, you will be entered into a giveaway to be able to win either a 20 days of premium time reward or 1000 GE, just depending on whatever you'd like. But if you'd like, again, click on that link in the comments below. Check out the rules in the video because I lay them out very, very clearly in that video and you will be able to enter. So again, click the link in the description below and in general, just like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll be entered into it. But I strongly suggest that you watch the video anyways, because it is about predatory monetization in War Thunder, and it's something that a lot of people might actually enjoy or find interesting, at least hopefully. But that being said, thanks so much for watching. Again, please like, comment, subscribe on this video. That would mean the world to me. Let me know what you guys think about this plane and the news and how they think that the upcoming season of Battle Pass might end up being. But Again, thank you all, and I hope you have a great day. Take care, everyone.